In this video, we will learn how to load a collection from MongoDB to Python. A table is known as collection in MongoDB. First, I will open the MongoDB compass and the MongoDB compass is here. I will click on this. It is loading. Once it is loaded, you have to click on connect. And once it gets connected, you will see the database here. There are three databases by default. The first is admin, config, and local. These are the database by default, and I have created two databases. The first one is machine learning, and the second database is mflix. If I click on this database machine learning, I have a collection known as Iris. And if I click on this collection, I can see the records. These are the records. So we have ID sepal length sepal width petal length petal width and class we are going to read this collection iris into python let's go to the jupyter notebook to connect mongodb from python we have to install a library pymongo open a command prompt in windows type cmd now type pip install pymongo It is already installed on my system. Let's import PyMongo. Import PyMongo. I will also import Pandas because I will convert the result of MongoDB collection into a Pandas data frame. Import Pandas as PD. We are going to make the connection between MongoDB and Python. I'll make one variable client from PyMongo. I will use the method Mongo client. Mongo client help us to build the connection between MongoDB and Python. And inside this, I have to pass some details about the MongoDB. In double quotes, I will type MongoDB. And now I have to type the place where I am running the MongoDB since I am running this on my localhost I will type localhost here and you can find this here you have to open your MongoDB compass and once you open here you will see the host is localhost 27017 so here you have to type that here I will type you have to put double slash here then localhost 27017 let's execute our code we have successfully created connection between mongodb database and python now we have to define the database from which we are going to read the collection and we are going to read the collection from this database machine learning i'll make one variable db i will call the object client which we have defined above and now i will pass the database name the database name is machine learning. Let's run our code. Let's print our variable db. So in the output, you can see that we have successfully connected to the database machine learning here. Here you can see that Mongo client host local host 27017. And then we have this database name is here. Now we have to define the collection. So we are going to read from this collection iris. I'll make one variable my collection and now I will call this variable db and inside this I will pass the collection name. The collection name is iris. Let's execute our code. Let's print our variable my collection. So in the output you can see that we have connected to the database machine learning and the connect collection is iris we will fetch one record from our collection iris this is our collection iris and these are the records this is the first record this is the second third fourth and so on we will fetch the first record i will make one variable one underscore record and now i will use my collection because in my collection i have stored the collection iris here and I will use the method find one.
find one you can see that there are so many methods but to get only one record we will use the method find one and now let's execute our code now i will print my variable one record print one record in the output you can see that we got one record here and this is the id then we have sepal length sepal width petal length petal width and class so using the method find one we can fetch one record now we will use the method find and the method find will fetch all the records i will make one variable all records now i will call the object my collection and i will use the method find let's execute our code so find will fetch all the records now i will print this variable all record so this is a cursor and we have to run a for loop over this cursor so that we can get all the results so i am going to run a for loop on this variable all records for row in all records print row so whenever you want to fetch all the records you will save that result in a variable and that variable will become a cursor and to see all the values you have to run a for loop over that variable and since all the results are saved in this variable all records i am going to run a for loop over this variable all records let's run our code now in the output you can see that we got all the records here so these are the first one id then we have sepal length this one this second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eight and so on so we got all the records here using the method find now we are going to make a data frame so this result is in the form of you know dictionary where we have keys and values so here sepal length is our key and 5.6 is a value and we are going to convert this into a data frame first i will make a cursor and store all the results so i will copy this code from here and one more thing i want to tell you that once i have run this for loop over this variable all records now the results are not stored in this variable i have used the results and to again run for loop i have to run this code again i have to save all the variables all the results in the variable all records again so that's why i am copying this code from here and i am going to paste it here and now i will execute the code now let's print our variable all records in the output you can see that it has become a cursor now i am going to convert this cursor into a list i'll make one variable list underscore cursor and now i will call the method list and inside this i will pass this variable all underscore records let's execute our code let's print our variable list underscore cursor so here you can see that we have converted this cursor into a list here you can see that we have a list and inside this we have a dictionary where we have keys and values and if you look at the above example here you won't find any list here you will see we have a dictionary here we don't have any list here but now in the new result you can see that we have a list and inside this we have a dictionary now we are going to convert this list into a data frame and this is the final step i'll make one variable df and from pandas i will call the method data frame then i will pass this variable list underscore cursor let's execute our code so we have successfully converted our list into a data frame let's look at the data frame we will use the method head to look at the top five rows of a data frame df dot head in the output you can see that we got a nice data frame and these are the variables id sepal length sepal width petal length petal width and class id is by default you can drop this column id we can also look at the tail 
of our data frame we will use the method tail df dot tail and these are the bottom five rows of our data frame df we can also look at the shape of our data frame we will write df dot shape so there are total 150 rows and six columns in a data frame df this is how you can connect your python with mongodb and you can fetch the collection into python then you can convert that into a list and after converting into a list you can finally convert it into a data frame and you can start working on your data frame and start developing a machine learning model i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching